I also want to speak tonight directly to Muslims throughout the world. We respect your faith. It's practiced freely by many millions of Americans and by millions more in countries that America counts as friends. Its teachings are good and peaceful. And those who commit evil in the name of Allah blaspheme the name of Allah. Uh, our war is against evil, not against Islam. There are thousands of Muslims who proudly call themselves Americans. And they know what I know, that uh, the Muslim faith is based upon peace and love and compassion, the exact opposite of the teachings of the Al-Qaeda organization, which is based upon evil and hate and destruction. Both Americans, our Muslim friends and citizens, taxpaying citizens, and uh, Muslims and nations uh, were just appalled and could not believe uh, what, what we saw on our TV screens. These acts of violence against innocents violate the fundamental tenets of the Islamic faith. And it's important for my fellow Americans to understand that. Americans understand we fight not a religion. Ours is not a campaign against the Muslim faith. The spirit behind this holiday is a reminder that Islam brings hope and comfort to more than a billion people worldwide. Islam affirms God's justice and insists on man's moral responsibility. We thank the many Muslim nations who stand with us against terror. Nations that are often victims of terror themselves. Tonight's iftar also sends a message to all Americans. Our nation is waging a war on a radical network of terrorists, not on a religion and not on a civilization. The enemy of America is not our many Muslim friends. It is not our many Arab friends. The English translation is not as eloquent as the original Arabic, but let me quote from the Quran itself. In the long run, evil in the extreme will be the end of those who do evil. For that they rejected the signs of Allah and held them up to ridicule. The face of terror is not the true faith of Islam. That's not what Islam is all about. And one of the deepest commitments of America is tolerance. No one should be treated unkindly because of the color of their skin or the content of their creed. No one should be unfairly judged by appearance or ethnic background or religious faith. The terrorists are traitors to their own faith, trying in effect to hijack Islam itself. The enemy of America is not our many Muslim friends. It is not our many Arab friends. Our enemy is a radical network of terrorists and every government that supports them. Arab Americans are racially profiled in what's called secret evidence. People are stopped. Uh, and uh, we've got to do something about that. My friend Senator Spencer Abraham of Michigan is pushing a law to make sure that you know, Arab Americans are treated with respect. So racial profiling isn't just an issue at the local police forces. Mm -hmm. It's an issue throughout our society. And as we become a diverse society, we're going to have to deal with it more and more. Uh, I just, I believe, though, I believe, sure as I'm sitting here, that most Americans really care. They're tolerant people. They're good, tolerant people. It's the very few that create most of the crises. And we just have to have to find them and deal with them.